Good morning, and thank you for joining us for today's Urinalysis Lab. Today we will be examining the urine samples of six patients as well as diagnosing each patient. We will be doing a macroscopic analysis where we look at the color and clarity of the urine, a chemical analysis of the urine where we look at the pH, specific gravity, protein, glucose, and ketones found in the sample, as well as microscopic analysis where I will tell you whether there are urethrocytes, red blood cells, or leukocytes, white blood cells, were found in each of the samples. Remember to refer, refer back to the provided PowerPoint for information on normal levels of the chemicals in the urine. Let's take a look at our patients and take notes on the information provided by each doctor. Case study number one. A 40 year old overweight pregnant woman comes in for her routine appointment. She is 28 weeks pregnant, complaining that she is constantly thirsty and saying that she spends all of her time running to the bathroom. She has been feeling more lethargic than normal lately and she has lost some weight. Let's take a look at the color and clarity of her urine sample. On your data sheet, document your observations on the color and clarity of the urine. Use the provided PowerPoint as a reference. Now, let's take a look at the urine strip and do a chemical analysis for substances found in the urine. And document your observations on the data sheet as we look at each substance. Protein. pH. Specific gravity, ketones, and glucose. Now I use the provided PowerPoint as a reference for what is normal and highlight anything that is out of the normal range. For the patient's microscopic analysis, no urethrocytes or leukocytes were found in her urine sample. Case study two. An 18 year old male comes in for his annual physical. He's a cross country runner who is currently training to run a marathon. He feels healthy and energized and has no complaints about his health. In fact, he just finished a rather strenuous training session. Let's take a look at the color and clarity of his urine sample. On your data sheet, document your observations on the color and clarity of the urine. Use the provided PowerPoint as a reference. Now, let's take a look at the urine strip and do a chemical analysis for the substances found in the urine. Document your observations on the data sheet as we look at each substance. Protein. pH, specific gravity, ketones, and glucose. Now, use the provided PowerPoint as a reference for what is normal and highlight anything that is out of the normal range. For your patient's microscopic analysis, no urethrocytes or leukocytes were found in his urine. Case study three, a 23 year old female comes in for an emergency appointment. She complains of a strong, persistent desire to urinate, a burning sensation during urination, lower back pain, and a low grade fever. Let's take a look at the color and clarity of her urine sample. On your data sheet, document your observation on the color and clarity of the urine. Use the provided PowerPoint as a reference. Now let's take a look at the urine strip and do a chemical analysis for substances found in urine. Document your observations in the data sheet as we look at each substance. 
protein, pH, specific gravity, ketones, and glucose. Now use the provided PowerPoint as a reference for what is normal and highlight anything that is out of the normal range. For the patient's microscopic analysis, no erythrocytes are present, but leukocytes and some crystals were present. Case study four. A 15-year-old female comes in for her annual physical. Her mom informs that she is worried because the girl has been on a strict diet and has lost a great deal of weight in the past few months. She has very little energy and does not seem interested in hanging out with her friends. The girl mentions that she has been losing some hair lately and that she has not menstruated over three months. Let's take a look at the color and clarity of her urine sample. On your data sheet, document your observations on the color and clarity of the urine and use the provided PowerPoint as a reference. Now, let's take a look at the urine strip and do a chemical analysis for substances found in the urine. Document your observations on the data sheet as we look at each substance. Now, use the provided PowerPoint as a reference for what is normal and highlight anything that is out of the normal range. Protein. pH. Specific gravity. Ketones. and glucose. For the patient's microscopic analysis, no erythrocytes or leukocytes were found in her urine sample. Case study five. A nine-year-old male is brought in by his mother because he is complaining of constant thirst and frequent urination. The problem is so bad that the boy is having trouble sleeping because he's constantly getting up to use the bathroom. A few times, he has even wet the bed. The mother suspects that something may be wrong with his pituitary gland and there is a family history of pituitary problems. Let's take a look at the color and clarity of his urine sample. On your data sheet, document your observation on the color and clarity of the urine. Use the provided PowerPoint as a reference. Now, let's take a look at the urine strip and do a chemical analysis for substances found in the urine. Document your observations on the data sheet as we look at each substance. Protein. pH. Specific gravity. ketones, and glucose. Now use the provided PowerPoint as a reference for what is normal and highlight anything that is out of the normal range. For the patient's microscopic analysis, no urethrocytes or leukocytes were found in his urine. Case study six, a 60 year old woman comes in for her annual physical. Even though she usually has a lot of energy, she has been unusually tired for the past few weeks. She occasionally feels dizzy and she's finding it harder to sleep through the night. Her ankles and feet are swollen and her face looks a bit puffy. She frequently feels a burning pain in her lower back just below the rib cage. She has noticed her urine is darker in color lately. 
Preliminary workup shows she has elevated blood pressure. Let's take a look at the color and clarity of her urine sample. On your data sheet, document your observation on the color and clarity of the urine. Use a provided PowerPoint as a reference. Now let's take a look at the urine strip and do a chemical analysis for substances found in urine. Document your observations on the data sheet as we look at each substance. Protein. pH. Specific gravity. Ketones. And glucose. Now use the provided PowerPoint as a reference for what is normal and highlight anything that is out of the normal range. For the patient's microscopic analysis, erythrocytes were present, no leukocytes were found in her urine sample. Now that you have the macroscopic, chemical analysis, and microscopic analysis, use the internet and other reliable sources to diagnose each patient on your list.